how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel well today is an exciting day for samsung galaxy users because we are finally receiving the much anticipated one ui 8 official update on our phones as you can see i have got the galaxy s25 ultra and i've already installed this update which is approximately 4 gb in size Although it's not a major update like One UI 7, we still get some exciting features and changes that we'll discuss in this video. So stay tuned and watch it until the very end. Also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. With that said, drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Alright guys, first let me show you some of the lock screen features and changes. So the first change you're gonna notice on your lock screen after you install the One UI 8 update is that the widgets are slightly bigger in size compared to One UI 7. Although the slots are exactly the same, you cannot add more number of widgets but the widget size has gotten a bit larger compared to the previous version. Another change is that when you tap on the clock and go into style, just swipe all the way to the right and you get this all new animated clock added in One UI 8. So this particular clock face is newly added in the latest version. Not just that, we also get this all new and exciting adaptive clock option. In order to activate this specific style, simply select the second option from the list and then you can adjust the thickness and change the font color too. Now what's cool about this clock style is that it changes the shape, size and even the orientation depending on the subject or an object that appears in your lock screen wallpaper. It basically adapts to the subject automatically, making it appear dynamic and visually pleasing to the eyes. I think it looks even better than the depth effect wallpaper we see on iOS. The next change is related to the now bar, which Samsung has introduced with the previous One UI 7. It now shows two additional activities right inside the now bar, which you can access directly from the lock screen. First, you can see all your active modes in the now bar, which you can control by just a single tap. Then it also shows up when you activate the DND mode on your phone. And the best part is that your ongoing calls can also be viewed inside the now bar. So they have added a couple of useful activities in the One UI 8, but still we are waiting to see the integration of some third party apps like Uber, Zomato and more. Now moving on to the wallpapers, here we have got a couple of new dynamic style wallpapers added in One UI 8 and if I just click on this edit option, I can actually choose from 4 different effects of wallpaper. This automatically changes the color and gradient effects giving a dynamic look to your lock screen. So we also get a bunch of beautiful dynamic wallpapers too. I think Samsung has added some really cool customization features to the lock screen and even without using good lock, you can do a lot of amazing things and take your lock screen to a whole new level. Samsung has also improved the multitasking experience and now when you open apps in a split screen window, let's say you're watching a video on YouTube and simultaneously you're jotting down notes you can now expand it much further, nearly to 90% of the screen and keep the other app in a very small window. This way you can easily decide which app can occupy the larger area on the screen. This feature is already present on some other Android UIs, but this was not possible on Galaxy phones. Now with One UI 8, you can actually make better use of the split screen feature and enhance your multitasking experience. The next noticeable change is inside the weather app. If I tap and open the weather widget, here you can see a lot of enhanced visuals, we've got more translucent design and it now has a more realistic person in the background instead of some cartoonish character and the animations are really really smooth. Overall the design and the aesthetics look more beautiful compared to the One UI 7 weather app. They have not added any new information but what they have done is they completely changed the overall look and feel and it somehow looks better than the previous version. Guys more and more translucent design with card style layout has been implemented beautifully in many places. For example when I open the app drawer and then click on search you can see we've got a nice translucent background which I think looks much better compared to One UI 7. It now shows 8 suggested apps instead of just 4 and if I scroll down, it has a card style layout that matches perfectly with the One UI 8 design language. Even the Files app also got this new card style design just like other Samsung applications. So they are trying to follow the same design language across all their native apps which is definitely not a bad thing. Despite it's not being a major update like One UI 7, they are still working on some refinements to make the overall experience much better. Also the quick share menu has been redesigned and if I just open the control center, click on quick share, instead of opening in a pop-up window, we actually get this brand new full screen interface where we have got two tabs at the bottom that are receive and send. 
when you go to the send tab you get the option to select files and share them to your friends i really like what they have done with this new interface and again this matches perfectly with the one ui design finally let's talk about animations as you guys know with one ui 7 Samsung has made a big leap in terms of animations and smoothness and we also got introduced to the parallel animations that made the whole experience a lot better. But now with One UI 8, if you ask me, I don't think there is a drastic change in terms of fluidity and smoothness. I mean the animations are already gotten much better on Samsung phones compared to what we used to get back in the days of One UI 4 and One UI 5. They have come a long way and even with One UI 8, definitely there is a slight improvement in terms of smoothness but it is not as noticeable as it was on One UI 7. If you want me to make a separate video on animations comparing with other Android skins, then do let me know in the comments section, I will try to make one. That's pretty much it for this video. These are all the new features and changes Samsung has made with the One UI 8. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.